Uh, hello guys, welcome back to my video. Uh, in today's uh, video, I'm going to show you how to uh, design a tube configuration file uh, to be used for charts. Okay, including um, direct chart, uh, single chart, and uh, twin charts. Okay, so example for direct charts like uh, including um, Stranger B. 2A350, you know, those uh, tubes uh, designed and, and uh, uh, manufactured uh, in the 30s and the 40s. And single chart, indirectly heated uh, single charts like uh, um, Western Electric 417, uh, 417, 437, uh, 6C4, 6C45, the Russian tube. And uh, uh, twin charts like uh, 6SN7, 6SL7, 12X7, 12ATC7, and so on and so forth. Okay, so we'll start uh, with the uh, most uh, the simplest uh, chart, the direct heated chart, and we are going to use the famous Ranger B uh, as an example. So uh, first of all, we uh, consult the uh, eTracer PCB menu to see how to connect uh, the a chart, a direct heated chart for uh, for test. Okay, so a uh, chart has three electrodes: the plate, the grid, and uh, the cassette. And for a direct heated chart, the uh, heater is the cassette. So uh, it's quite trivial. We just connect the uh, heater to heater one, uh, the two terminals of heater to heater one and heater two. And uh, I like I said many times in. Uh, in the e tracer hardware, the heat one uh, one leg of the e tracer uh, heater supply circuit is con is connected to the ground uh, by a 0.1 ohm resistor, so it's you can uh, treat it as grounded. So uh, the cassette is grounded by um, by the heater supply. The uh, control grid is connected to the uh, negative voltage supply neg V, and uh, since this is uh, only a single uh, unit. We connect H. We only we use HV1 uh, to test this tube, and HV1 should be connected to the uh, plate electrode of this uh, device under test. So um, for for the configuration file, we uh, we need to fill in this part to uh, aid the user to uh, wire the, uh, uh, the the wires to test the tube. So um, so we need to consult the data sheet so let me alter the uh, open the data sheet for uh, for a stranger B uh, this is a data sheet from the uh, uh, Western Electric so first uh, we look at the pin out mm -mm. Hmm. Oh here. Okay, so pin one and pin four are filaments, and pin two is plate, and uh, pin three is grid. I think uh, most of you may already know. Uh, probably already know it already. So he, uh, heater one on pin one, plate on pin two, uh, grid on pin three, and the heater two on. Um, Pin four, and we can uh, select uh, the uh, connection for each pin from the pull down menu for each pin. Grid should connect. To, uh, sorry, plate should connect it to uh, HV one, and the grid connect to neg V. So like this. So this way we finish this part, and you can type in the description and, and note in this field. So the connection part is done. Uh, again, this this part is only for the user. Uh, to help the researcher to uh, hook up the wires, it has nothing to do with the hardware setup. Um, okay, and uh, now we uh, we are ready to configure the uh, uh, plus settings. And uh, to do that, we uh, to do to configure the plus setting, we uh, usually want to align the plus setting with the uh, uh, full scan range. And um, before we do that, we need to configure the heater supply voltage. Okay. So the uh, heater from the data sheet. 
the heater is 5 volt with uh, you should has the current rating oh, yeah, here so the current is AC or uh, DC 5 volt and uh, the reference current is 1.2 ampere so uh, 5 amp 5 volt Ooh. and 1.2 like this okay the compensation value just leave it as the, the default setting of 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.7 volt okay then now we are ready to uh, to design the uh, the voltage uh, settings for the uh, for full scan so to do a full scan we actually want to reproduce the uh, the plate voltage versus plate current curve sets like this so uh, we just go to the data sheet and find uh, this type of graph it has uh, this graph has a plate voltage as an axis X axis and has a play current as a Y axis. So we can see the range is uh, from 0 to 0 volt to 700 volt, and uh, the uh, uh, Y range, the current range is from 0 to 360 milli, milliamp. Okay, and one problem with, uh, with this is uh, each tracer only go, uh, can only test up to uh, 300 milliamp, so you have to keep in that in mind. So um, we for the uh, uh, plot range, we want to display from uh, all the way up to 700 volt, and we just leave uh, the uh, maximum range of the uh, uh, current reading to 300 milliamp. Okay, and uh, we need to configure the. Uh, uh, it's very important to configure the power, uh, the maximum power, for. Uh, testing a, a device because the maximum power uh, dictate uh, maximum power is a uh, stop criterion for the uh, uh, for the test. So each times uh, for each curve, when it reach when the uh, power consumption uh, when the power consumption exceed the power uh, one point five times the uh, uh, max power setting here, uh, the 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 software stops. Uh, scanning for that specific uh, curve, and uh, uh, the power, the maximum power dissipation is uh, specified in the, in the usually specified in the data sheet. Here we can see the uh, plate dissipation uh, maximum maximum ratings. Uh, the plate dissipation is six thirty six watts. So we put the uh, thirty six watts here. You should see uh, the uh, uh, the maximum power curve here if not uh, I think it's a it's a bug I'll fix that in the software later so we select we still select this guy and we can see the uh, uh, what the trick I did I just uh, randomly pick a setting here and uh, uh, click OK and uh, you'll see the uh, the play curve display here I'll fix that uh, later so um, this is the maximum uh, uh, power dissipation for this tube on the plate so uh, if this curve is too low then um, you're going you we waste a lot of space on this side because the curve goes this direction curves go like this and each curve will stop when the part is the, uh, the calculated uh, power dissipation exceed 1.5 times of the uh, of this of this uh, of the maximum power dissipation so if you have a, a power dissipation line too low the curve will stop uh, like here much earlier then you're going to waste uh, the uh, the lot of space here so the recommended uh, um, power dis dis uh, dissipation curve is the right mode side uh, should be um, you know uh, between uh, one fourth or one third, and for 300B, this uh, so we can tweak it uh, this a little. Let's say if we if we only display up to to 250, we can we actually bring um, uh, this curve a uh, the power dis dispatching curve a little uh, a little higher, and you can continue doing this because we we actually don't we are usually we're not interested in the very high current uh, area for. Uh, for example, if we have a question point here, 
the voltage swing will never exceed uh, 200 volt mini 200 mini amps. So uh, have a maximum value of 200 mini amp here is totally fine, and uh, you can get the uh, you know uh, curves that fills the uh, pretty much uh, like you know most of the uh, the plot. Okay, so uh, I think let's put in the 250. So we need to specify the uh, the maximum power dissipation, and uh, uh, for from the data sheet, we want to scan from zero to seven hundred volt. Zero to seven hundred. So we should put the seven hundred here, and uh, for a step, uh, like I said, the recommended this, uh, step is uh, ten to twenty steps. The um, so the larger the step, the, the, the fewer steps, the uh, the quicker the test, and uh, the uh, the more the the finer the steps, the longer the test time. So uh, we can use uh, thirty five here. So it means uh, we made we the the uh, increments on the uh, uh, HV one is zero thirty five seventy and so on and so forth. So that will give us uh, twenty steps, twenty one steps actually. So uh, it's uh, uh, it it gives you a pretty uh, smooth curve. And for the uh, IMAX, I'm, uh, the software doesn't use IMAX because uh, when at the very beginning I um, I thought we uh, the software might use uh, the maximum uh, allowed current to uh, as a stop condition, but later on I only use the uh, the power the PMAX. But uh, you can put the um, you know what the uh, uh, current you believe is suitable here, maybe three hundred uh, milliamp. It doesn't matter um, for three uh, for for a triad we don't use uh, HV2 for a single triad we don't use HV2 so we leave uh, HV2 unchecked and uh, we need the neg negative V we need to use the, the uh, negative neg, neg V to connect uh, to control the uh, control grid to uh, generate the different curves and uh, if you look at the, the data sheet the, uh, the, the grid is uh, from zero to minus 140 at with a step of uh, minus 20 so we can uh, do pretty much the same here uh, zero to 140 and 20 each step if you don't like the, what you see here may, sometimes if you see, think it's uh, if you believe it's too there's too, uh, too few lines here you can change the increment you want maybe you can uh, put you can use minus 10 volt for the step size and sometimes maybe you want uh, another curve like this so you can uh, scan up to minus 160 so you can configure that um, in the software so let's uh, let me download the uh, uh, 300b uh, configuration file I supply in the software package so here for the full screen uh, for, for the for the for the full scan uh, you can see the configuration is 0 to 700 volt 35 and the uh, pmax and i didn't uh, touch the imax uh, negative v is this uh, we check this so the negative v is a sweep source and uh, i test up to minus 160 and with uh, with a step of minus 20 volt so let's uh, complete the setting for full scan tab now uh, we can we are ready to configure the quick scan tab. So uh, for quick scan tab, we actually want to pick an operation point uh, in this in this graph. So uh, usually for uh, trials, there's uh, the the data sheet always ha has uh, re recommended uh, operating point specified in the data sheet. Okay, so here you can see there's two recommended. Um, Operating point for 300B. This um, it's interesting. This the, uh, this is a new data sheet I've just found uh, this morning on, on the website. The previous data sheet I found has like a, a 20 or 15 uh, operating uh, recommended operating points, but here this uh, this data sheet uh, only provide two. But anyway, so um, if you, you might find the data sheet that give you a lot of uh, 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 recommended operating point, so which one to pick? Uh, for me, uh, for what I think is reasonable is I always pick the one that's closer to the maximum power dissipation and close and has a higher plate voltage. So, uh, for example, we have two uh, recommended operating point here, uh, one at the plate voltage of 300 volt and one with a uh, plate voltage of 350 volts. I 
I tend to pick this one, and that's what I pick for the uh, setting for uh, the strange B. Okay, so here, uh, play voltage 350 uh, minus 74 uh, grid voltage, we should see a uh, question current of 60 milliamp. And uh, the uh, transconductance is 5000, play resistance is 790, and uh, the uh, amplification factor is 3.9. Okay, so if we, we come here, we can see the uh, uh, f the, for the quick scan setting, the uh, pass voltage is centered and uh, at 350. The swing uh, by default is 5%. It, uh, the swing is uh, the voltage sent to the uh, the device under test to kick it, to derive the uh, uh, the uh, other parameters uh, like mu, gn, or rp. So basically what it says is uh, it, we uh, test this device at, let's say, uh, 350 volt. Uh, uh, mm, okay, so let's say if we test uh, this, we set, uh, we send the uh, HV1 voltage here, and we will uh, we'll generate uh, two more voltage here, uh, one is let's say it's uh, 300. This is 320, 320 minus 5 percent, and 320 volt plus 5 percent. So with this uh, test point, I can derive the slope. That's which uh, reflects the uh, inverse of the uh, um, plate uh, resistance, and uh, and uh, we can derive other parameters with uh, also um, specifying the uh, the swing for the negative point. Uh, on the on the grid, so um, five percent to ten percent. Uh, actually, I think now I think using ten percent is uh, better because it gives uh, the measurement result is more stable. For five percent, you get uh, uh, the reading more close to the uh, uh, the the question point, but the error is tend to be high. It can be like three percent or four percent. So it's up to you. Uh, in the software, I use five percent. Okay, so. Um, we have to, for quick scan, we need to uh, input the uh, reference value here. So you remember from the data sheet, the question current is 60 milliamp, is the uh, RP790 ohms, uh, GN5000, and uh, amplification, ampli voltage amplification vector of 3.9. So here, uh, if you remember, uh, on the data sheet, it's minus 74. Okay, but what why I put one, uh, minus 71.5 one, uh, here is because, um, uh, in the data sheet, the uh, the the uh, uh, the voltage difference is specified from the plate to the center tap uh, of of 300 B uh, of the filament. So it's specified from here to here, and uh, so it's uh, it's actually assuming assuming a uh, uh, the heater is supplied by the AC power, but uh, uh, since uh, in each tracer the filament is powered by DC. So the center uh, point is actually uh, 2.5 volt instead of zero volt. So we need to dial in. Uh, so we, we need to uh, make the uh, the grid voltage less negative to compensate for this uh, voltage offset. So that's why I subtract uh, 74 by 2.5 to get the, the proper setting of minus 71.5 volt. Okay, so uh, let's complete the, uh, uh, the configuration for a quick scan. So ne now next we need to uh, configure the uh, uh, corner cases. And uh, if you don't know what uh, the corner cases will do, please go to the uh, eTracer website. And uh, click on the uh, and check the article titled uh, "Why You Need the Tube Tester That Goes Up to uh, 750 Volt." So uh, basically, the corner case is a tool that help you to detect the two failures, uh, two type of tube failures. And uh, so one type of tube failure is the early rise of the curves of the curve set. So this uh, is a uh, um, good 300B, and this is a, a 
you know problematic strategy be that the you, you can check the uh, uh, the curve at minus 120 so here for the good ones at minus 120 the uh, the play current stays close to zero milliamp at a play voltage of 400 volt but for this type of uh, two failure at, at the same curve the uh, the current at 400 volt is much much higher than um, than zero volt it's you know if you look at this graph it's probably uh, more than 10 milliamp already so this this uh, so we need to figure, figure out this uh, type of the uh, two failure and uh, another type of two failure is uh, uh, at uh, a uh, high uh, uh, play voltage, the uh, uh, the gasy tube might have a short from the t uh, plate to the ground. So the you, uh, the the current will go, you know, will become uh, very high abruptly. So we need to capture that uh, uh, tube failure. So in the sh uh, shipped uh, uh, tube configuration files, I use the first two. Uh, corner cases to capture this type of two two failure for the uh, early uh, the, for the cut off um, current detection uh, we need to state that if, so you remember in the uh, in the article so uh, what I did is I used 400 volt and uh, minus 20 volt on the grid and uh, I I put the condition here so at uh, this test point, the major current cannot be higher than two milliamp. Okay, so this will capture the early rise of the uh, 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 of the uh, uh, major current at high voltage. And the second uh, test criteria is designed. So here we need want to put the maximum uh, uh, voltage that's going to uh, be used for that tube. For example, for 300B, the uh, the play voltage, if the even the uh, uh, at, at the output stage with the output transformer, even the uh, the uh, the the play voltage is at the 385 volt. For example, when the uh, when the signal swing becomes larger, the play voltage can be as high as 650 650 volt. So I put 70 700 volt here, and uh, the criteria is. At minus one sixty volt, the current should be uh, within two times of the uh, current uh, in the data sheet. But in the data sheet, we don't have this uh, minus one sixty. So uh, what I did is I extrapolate a, t a, a curve like this, <laughs> and at seven hundred. Um, we see around 100 milliamps. So two times of two, uh, two times, uh, 100 is 200 milliamps. So this uh, second criteria, uh, second criteria here is at 700 volt uh, minus 160 volt. The uh, major current play current should be uh, below 200 milliamp. Okay, so that's a uh, 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 that's a setting for the corner test cases. So we are done with the 300B. Now next, uh, next we are going to uh, see how to configure the how to make a configuration file for a uh, uh, single chart indirectly heated. So we are going to use a, uh, a 6C4 as an example. But uh, the, it's the, I mean in the data sheet I use 6C45, but the, I mean the uh, the idea is the same. So for indirectly heated uh, child, besides the uh, uh, the heater, there is a cathode electrode. So cathode has to to be tied to ground, and uh, the heater supply connect to the filaments uh, of the uh, of the tube, and the same uh, HVN goes to the uh, uh, the plate of the uh, of the uh, tube. Okay. So I'm going. I'm going to skip the, uh, the configuration on this part. I think you guys should be uh, familiar with this. So let me uh, load a six C five six C four configuration. Okay, you can see you can see the uh, uh, the wiring part is uh, configured here. And next, we need to configure the heater supply and from the data sheet. Let me get the data sheet. Six C. And on the internet, for the same tube, you you usually you'll find a, a more a lot of uh, uh, menus for popular tubes. Like for 65, you can 
at least find the GE menu and the RCA menu and there's some uh, Prime Minister that's our, uh, you know maybe there's the difference uh, in between the data sheet so for me I always use RCA uh, data sheet as my reference if uh, the uh, uh, it's not clear in the RCA data sheet then I go to the uh, GE the data sheet from GE okay for 64 this is the uh, RCA data sheet for uh, 64 the connection is here and uh, the voltage the uh, filament voltage is uh, 6.3 volt and the current is, uh, reference current is 0 0.15 amp so we put that uh, here 6.3.15 and uh, now uh, we want to configure the full scan and uh, the, pl uh, the, the uh, plus settings so since the uh, 64 is uh, a, a single chart we only use HV1 so we leave the uh, the right axis uh, to none so not displayed and uh, again we need to uh, check the plate curve versus plate well plate voltage pl uh, versus plate curve uh, plate <laughs> current so let me rotate this guy so we are going to look at this guy and uh, you might find that the um, the gap the, the step for the uh, the grid uh, is too big you might want the finer uh, curves so we can look at the um, other data sheets uh, data sheets from other vendors so this one is uh, GE data sheet it's, it's, it's actually better because it uses uh, uh, 2.5 minus 2.5 volt for the uh, negative uh, voltage step okay but anyway so we can find the uh, the range scan range is 0 to 500 volt and for the maximum play voltage, you, you, you sometimes it's already sp also specified in the data sheet. I'm, I'm not sure it's specified here. Maximum rating, uh, 600 volt. Okay, but uh, in the data sheet, so uh, it's it's totally fine. You only scan up to uh, 300 volt. But for pulse, uh, for um, to come to generate something like this, we want to uh, scan up to 500 volt. So. Um, and the maximum current is something uh, like uh, 50 milliamp. Okay, so in the supplied uh, configuration file, we uh, scan. Uh, we only uh, we set the maximum uh, current to display to uh, as uh, two point uh, 25 milliamp. Uh, the reason for that is again, if you s put 50 here, the uh, port uh, the port dispersion curve will be uh, become too low. And you're going to you waste a lot of info, uh, uh, area on, on this side. So we want the the, uh, the curves to, you know, feel this side to you know make the uh, the plot looks better. Okay. So again, when we come back to the uh, uh, the the, uh, the this plot, the uh, uh, we can design. We know the uh, uh, for full scan, we want to scan from zero volt to five hundred volt on the plate, and uh, for the uh, uh, negative uh, the grid step. Uh, here it used uh, 2.5. Uh, here I used uh, 2. Point, I think use I used 2 volt. Okay, so the voltage for uh, high voltage I said we start from zero volt and end at 500 volt with a step of 25 volts. That will give us 21 steps. So it's uh, you know it's a uh, it's a good balance of test speed and uh, and the smoothness of the curve. Um, uh, for the uh, negative. Uh, for the uh, grid, con uh, the grid voltage range, we scan from zero, uh, zero volt to minus twenty eight volt with a step of minus two volt. Okay, so uh, the curve stop at minus thirty here, but uh, you know I don't. This region is probably not used, so I stop at uh, minus twenty eight. Okay, so enable negative uh, voltage and make it as a sweep source. So that's a uh, uh, so that's a setup for the full scan tab. So here is a f the uh, uh, so now we are ready to uh, set up to uh, the uh, quick scan tab. And again, uh, for quick scan tab, we want to check the recommended uh, operating point in the data sheet. 
Okay, here, so uh, typical operation point, this is a GE data sheet. And play, so you can see there's two uh, recommended uh, operating point. One with a play voltage at one, uh, 100 volt and another is a play voltage of 250 volt. So like I said, I tend to select the, uh, the one uh, with the, uh, a higher play voltage. So this is uh, the one I sp uh, specified. Actually, actually, it's quite interesting here. This this guy, uh, this tube can operate in positive uh, under positive grid voltage. So this operating point is actually biased at the zero volt of the of the grid voltage. So anyway, uh, two fifty minus eight point five, and the amplification factor is seventeen, and the plate resistance is seven point seven kilo ohm, and uh, the question plate current is ten point five milliamp. Okay, so we need to um, fill in the reference data here, the current, idle current, uh, 10.5. So you remember from the data sheet 7.7K, GNS220, micro, ma. okay, I don't know the, how to pronounce the, uh, the unit. And the amplification factor is 17. And uh, the voltage, play voltage is uh, configured at 250 volt. Negative voltage is minus uh, 8.5 volt as indicated in this table. Okay, so that's, uh, the, uh, that's uh, a configuration for the quick scan tape. And for the corners, again, we want to ch capture uh, two type of failure, two, type of, uh, two types of the two failure. One is the, uh, uh, the early the cut co uh, cut off current cu cut off current at high voltage. So the condition I pick is 450 volt and minus 30. We want to see a current less than one milliamp. Okay, 330 400 volt here. So the current should be very close to zero. So this is a, a one criteria I used to. Uh, one test case I used to filter the problematic tubes. The second one is. Uh, uh, the uh, maximum play voltage we want the major current to be uh, uh, less than two times of the uh, cur uh, specified current in the data sheet so at 500 minus 30 um, 500 minus 30 the major current should be uh, one two three four so it it's 2.5 milliamp here it's about 2.5 milliamp here so uh, two times of it is six uh, is five milliamp. So I uh, here actually I put six milliamp here. Okay. So at the, the extreme play, uh, highest play voltage, the cur major current should be lower than six hundred milliamp. That's the uh, second criteria for the corner cases. So that's uh, complete the uh, configuration for the six C four a single a uh, single trial. Okay, so next let's move on to the uh, uh, configuration for twin chart. Here we are going to use the 12X7 as an example. Okay, so uh, if it, we go back to the uh, uh, PCB menu, this is how we connect the uh, uh, twin chart. So uh, again, we connect the uh, cassette. We connect the cassettes to the ground and uh, we connect the two leg of the heater to the heater supply. And since it's twin triad with HV1 and we use HV2 to uh, hook up the, to connect to the two plates of the uh, 12X7. Okay, so now we can download the uh, configuration file for 12X7. And here the, the wiring part is done. And so the next step is uh, if you remember, we are going to uh, go to the uh, data sheet for 12X7. We need to find this curve. Uh, okay, and uh, it's quite interesting here. The uh, this curve is uh, also allow. No, no, not this one. Okay, but uh, if you sometimes if you you find the uh, the uh, the plot too ugly, you can always uh, check. Uh, Data sheet from other vendors. I, I find uh, I find the G's uh, data sheet and the RCS data sheet are quite uh, consistent. So you can switch between these two. For example, now we switch to the uh, GE's uh, data sheet. So again, we want to find the uh, the scan range. 
the on the plate and uh, the display range for the uh, play current. So you can see the play the current uh, display up to 3.5 volt in GE's menu uh, to 4 volt uh, to sorry 3.5 3 milliamp uh, in GE's menu and 4 milliamp in uh, RCS menu. So in my configuration, I uh, display up to 5. Uh, mini M. That's uh, so we can we can have the uh, power dissipation curve curve, uh, uh, you know, uh, nicely positioned. <coughs> okay. So since this is a twin trial, but we are interested in both uh, sections, so we need to turn on the y right and configure the y right to uh, display the current of HB to the maximum set to five mini amp, five mini amp, five mini amp. And for the full scan, we start from zero volt, and this is the same as the 60, 64. We start from zero volt and uh, ends at 500 volt with a step of uh, 25 volt. And we need to specify the power, uh, power maximum power dissipation. It's in the data sheet, and I think it's one watt. Okay, it's one watt specified here. Uh, the current is six. 0.3 volt and the uh, reference current of oh sorry in series it's 12.6 volt and uh, with a reference current of 0.15 uh, mini amp uh, amp so we configure the heater uh, voltage here okay and back to the first scan we need to config now we need to configure the uh, HV2 because HV2 is used to uh, uh, to test the second uh, unit of the uh, twin triad. So turn on enable HV2 link H to HV1. So that uh, this means the HV2 the output voltage of HV2 will follow the HV1 at a rate here linkage rate of 100 percent. So we have to configure 100 here. And for the negative, we we start from zero min, uh, zero volt and uh, uh, goes to minus five volt with a step of minus 0.5 volt. Um, so this is uh, ta taken directly from from this this setting. Okay, so now we are we, we are done with the uh, setting for full scan. We can move on to quick scan. Uh, quick scan the, again. We need to pick the uh, uh, equation point to test, and uh, we can check the uh, uh, data sheet for a recommended uh, test point. So again, we see two uh, recommended test point here. Uh, Again, I I tend to select the uh, the one with higher play voltage, so I pick this one, two p two fifty volt uh, minus two volt, and we will have a, a amplification factor of one hundred, and the uh, quiescent current one uh, one point two milliamp. Okay, and the play resistance transconductance, we take this uh, configuration and put that in the uh, in our table. So test voltage. Two, uh, 250 and the negative voltage minus 2 volt and the question current reference question current is uh, 1.2 milliamp and mu 100 and uh, you know you just copy those uh, values here and because it's a twin trial we need to fill fill in this uh, this two uh, this column two and uh, we check what we want to measure I forgot to mention that in the uh, stranger in the settings for stranger B and the uh, 64, we need to check all of this because we are interested in all of these parameters. We also interested in the these parameters for uh, for the second uh, unit for twin child. For stranger B, we only we only uh, for a single child we only interested in the uh, in the first row here. Okay, so that's a, a setting for the uh, quick scan. So again, for corner cases, we have uh, we designed two uh, test cases. One to capture the early rise of the uh, curve, to uh, so we detect the uh, uh, a too high um, <coughs> um, cut off current, and second one is uh, at the highest play voltage, we capture the uh, abnormal uh, play current. So if we go back to the uh, uh, the curve. And we can check. We can compare the condition here. 500 volt, 500 volt. Uh, since this is a, a twin triad, we wanted to uh, test the current on both uh, section. So, uh, if you remember in strength uh, in configuration file for 300B, the corner cases this this column is not checked because we are not interested in uh, this in the. Um, the measurement on HV2, 
but for twin triad we are we we need we want to compare both sections so we uh, configure this column okay so back to 12x7 um the first criteria is a 400 volt 400 volt and uh, a five minus 5 volt we want a current less than 2.1 uh, milliamp 400 volt minus 5 volt okay so the current is uh, actually lower than 0 0.1 milliamp so twice of that is 0 0.2 milliamp and uh, we check both and f at uh, 500 the uh, maximum play voltage of 500 we want uh, at minus 5 volt we want the uh, the major current to be less than 2 point mini 2 milliamp okay 500 uh, it's it's not the uh, uh, shown here so let me okay so at 500 the, in the data sheet the, the the play current is something like it should it's below 0.7 milliamp I think so here I use 2 milliamp so if, if the major current is above 2 milliamp this that means something is wrong so that's complete the, uh, the setup for the uh, uh, for 12 a7 for uh, uh, configuration file Okay, uh, that's it. So next time we're going to talk, talk about how to configure the, uh, uh, how to uh, design the uh, configuration file for um, paint holes. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.